Yes, hello, this is Torben Bach from IGIS. Um, in this video, we're going to have a look at inclusions in GeoScene 3D. So, uh, I'll start the setup model data wizard here, and then I'll go straight through the wizard. I create my new model and point database. And here I then set up the surfaces that we're going to use. So the thing I want here is I have some clay that's uh, that is must be represented as inclusions in some sand. So the thing is that Geoscene 3D uh, uses 2D grids. So in that way, it's very simplistic, but it's also very easy to work with. And um, so let's try and see what we can do here. So the thing is that I'll put in an upper sand and a lower sand. Uh, I'll make the sand body as two layers, upper sand and lower sand, and then the inclusions will be a layer in the middle. So let's try that. So in the top, I'll have the terrain surface, and then I'll have the bottom, upper, That will be my next layer, and then I'll have the inclusion, and then I'll have the top lower sand. So that will be my next layer, and then I'll have some kind of basement. Okay, so this one I will make nice orange. Next, interpolation settings. Yep. Okay, we just go with the default. Or we can just uh, search radius. We'll just have a zoom in a lot. Okay. Next, that's fine. Grid output directory. D. Ten. Inclusion two D grids. Okay. Next. Next, next, and finish. So now we created the surface, the point uh, data sets that are going to the surfaces, and the surfaces combines into layer. And so let's just save our project here. Okay. So here we have the layers then. So this is from the layer made between the bottom of the upper sand and the terrain. So let's just call this, rename this to upper sand. Okay, so this is my upper sand. Then I have the layer here that's built up between the top lower sand and bottom upper sand. So this will then be my inclusion layer. So this will be my clay. So the top surface is the bottom of the upper sand and the bottom surface is the top of the lower sand. So that will be my clay layer. And uh, we could make that a, another color. Uh, let's do that later. Then I have the basement to the top of the lower sand. So the basement, top lower sand. So this will be my lower sand layer. Okay. And all the coloring I'll fix afterwards. Okay. Save. Let's make a cross section in here. Cross section. Cross section. Yep. And here we have the terrain. So let's start. So I'll start with digitizing the bottom of the upper sand. So here's the bottom of the upper sand. Oh. the bottom of the upper sand. So now I'll pick the top of the lower sand. So 
here we want the two sand layers, sand bodies, to overlap. So I'll cross this one. If you remember how we handled pinch outs, it is the same approach. So I'll cross this one and then I'll post process layer. So now the inclusion should appear. So we want a sand body, a uh, clay body in there, disappear, reappear, disappear. Okay, like so. And then I want to edit now the basement. Yep, this is then the basement here. Okay, so that's the basement. So let's just save and upload. Okay, so now we want to adjust this. So as you remember, um, surfaces and layers in Geoscene 3D are just 2D grids that we stretch and manipulate and uh, uh, use to, to define our model. So the stretching and manipulation can be done using, I'll just this, this one here, can be done using the toolbox up here, grid adjustment and evaluation, toolbox, grid adjustment and evaluation. Yep, and this is the one you're looking for, adjustment, set up and execute. Okay, so here we defined how we stretch and pull the grids. So we have the adjusted grids and the reference grids. So the basement, top layer, so So we'll just fix here, we'll fix the terrain. So you're not allowed to move the terrain. So that will remain fixed. And the lower sand we can move up and down. So let's just do it like this. So I'll just set this free. Um, one note here, one quick note. If you press F1, you get up the help for this one. And here you can read all about the setup. You can see it looks very similar. Okay. Execute. Okay. So let's see the result. Another note, here you have two other options for generating uh, grids. Isopack maps and different squids that can be used to quality control your final uh, model. But let's see, now we have a new group node here with surfaces adjusted. And let's see how they look. So let's just. So these are, were our points, disable those. These were the original surfaces. Let's disable those and then put on the adjusted surfaces. Oh, sorry, terrain we want to keep. So here you see the surfaces has been adjusted and we now have our inclusion layer here. And I can then take these layers here, so the definition of the layers, and I can use the adjusted surfaces, terrain, button, upper sand adjusted, yep. clay, button upper sand, top lower sand, I'll just give it a more clay-like color. Uh, I don't know which color, brown. Oh, gray. Okay. Wait. And lower sand, material, color, slightly different orange. And then that will be the top lower sand adjusted and the basement adjusted. Nope. Okay. So here we have our inclusions, and this is the way you handle inclusions in Geocene. I hope you found this useful. If you run into problems or have questions, don't hesitate to contact support. Thank you.